We are going to begin with shares of Meta surging in the pre-market, profit and daily active users exceeding estimates, uh, despite the company's slowest revenue growth since going public nearly a decade ago. Mark Zuckerberg outlined the challenges during the call last night. I talked last quarter about some of the near-term challenges facing our business. Some are specific to Meta, like our transition to short-form video, which doesn't monetize as well for now, but which we're quite optimistic about over the long term. Uh, some are specific to our industry, like signal loss resulting from Apple's iOS changes, which is a meaningful headwind, but we also expect that with the right technology investments, we'll navigate okay over time. Jim, uh, Bespoke this morning says this could be the third biggest gap higher on earnings since going public. There was so much that was good here. Uh, and a couple of things. Zuckerberg did three things right. One is that I think that TikTok will indeed be on the run from reels by year end as predicted. And that's because they're going to be able to measure exactly whether the return of investment for reels. Right now, people like TikTok say, well, I got a lot of influencers. If I put it up, people read. No. What Mark is saying is, look. We can offer targeted reels, and that's a very, very big deal. Even though he won't be able to make as much money, who wouldn't want targeted? The second thing is he really ring fences on the, re on the, the costs. I mean, you know, we thought the costs were going to be terrible. He obviously, given the fact he's already got a plan to beat TikTok, he could cut back that. And then the third, he's talking about an AI solution to Apple's third-party restrictions. And I think that that's rather amazing because uh, what that's going to say is, you know what? If you use us, we can get around what Apple says by modeling. Uh, th th this is just science, and AI, machine learning. Confident call, uh, a call where they believe that they, that they didn't have to spend nearly as much. We have no idea what the family, we, you know, we've got this family of apps, which is the one we're all familiar with, and that was quite strong. Uh, th the reality lab is, is a black box, a and it seemed clear that Zuckerberg feels like they're on the course already with with defeating TikTok. So now it's time to go for the 2025 plan. Uh, I love the call. He also said you can watch this company, Dykeman, from Europe if you want to see what people are doing. But uh, uh, he's working very closely with NVIDIA uh, because he talked about the idea that in the, in the metaverse, you'll be able to look at a digital twin that can be exactly like you. Yeah. That's the NVIDIA product. That's Jensen Wong. That's interesting because today B of A talks about cloud CapEx, one of the bright spots in the quarter, and they do say it's positive for NVIDIA, Marvell, AMD, and others. Exactly. And, and actually, I would actually do it in that order. NVIDIA's got the most high-performance computing. Now, people don't like NVIDIA anymore because they say, well, it's got gaming and crypto. Crypto they shouldn't think about, but there is a slowdown in gaming. We know that from Microsoft the other day. Uh, AMD's got PCs that people worry about, but they're really not low-end. That's Intel. I, I don't know. Uh, when I look at, at what's going on in high-performance computing, I really want to be there. And Marvell is the one. It's my largest, the second largest position after Qualcomm. Qualcomm in the semis because their 5G, which so far we know from Qualcomm, is very, very strong in their high performance computing. Uh, Matt Murphy's got the right, uh, it really, really has, has the, the right combination. Would the you, stock's up a, duck, a buck 80. Would you argue days. that going into the FB print last night, people were afraid it would be this colossal landmine that could unnerve the tape? Oh, absolutely. I mean, we thought that the daily average users would be, uh, would not go up. Now, by the way, just for sure, um, Western world daily average users kind of flat. Indonesia and India were the two bright spots. So you've got flat and then those two. No, I mean, as they would tell you, well, Jim, Indonesia and India matter. They don't think, they don't asterisk, they matter. And those were the ones that were, where things were driven off. Uh, it was a very encouraging call because from the very beginning, everyone was skeptical about TikTok versus Reels. When I work with them, what's interesting is, is that you can now get, uh, you can see who, you, you, can, you can make it so that Reels is for who you need, whereas TikTok, you just blast it out. So I call it like day, a daytime pre uh, precision bombing, which is, which is what Zuckerberg's offering, mm -hmm. versus Daisy nighttime colors. saturation. And I'd rather have daylight precision any day of the week. Yeah. So given that, going into Apple, Amazon tonight, right? I mean, are you, are you more convinced that 4,200 roughly is a floor? Well, look, I mean, Apple's got its own issues. Uh, uh, there's clearly a, a notion that you've got this lockdown in China. How do you, whether, whether that'll be asterisk. If people can't go out to buy the phone. But, you know, yesterday we had T-Mobile. They had 1.3 million additions. And they get the additions by, uh, by giving you the phone. And it makes me feel, once again, that the 13 Pro, was a breakout phone. 
people tend to see, oh, 12. The 13 Pro enabled you to be able to do TikTok really, really well. And people want to do TikTok. They want to do Reels, too. But I think that what I, it wouldn't surprise me if Tim Cook said, look, if it weren't for China, we'd have great numbers. And how does the market take that? Uh, if the stock's up for today, then it's not so great. But if, if, it, uh, if the stock calms down, then it's okay.